Lefty, who is our site manager in okay. Amherst. Okay. Because so you're, getting, are you up in Greenfield? The main office is yeah. in Greenfield, and uh, that's where Jamie and I are. Okay, I gotcha. Great. So we'll wait for what? What did you say their name was? Sheila Murphy. Okay, we'll wait for Sheila then. But, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Um, I could send her a quick text. Um, just for my clarification, because, um, we're working on our budget for next year, which the Amherst CDBG is part of. And that goes through the end of next school. Can you give me the dates that covers? Yeah, so the, the grant, um, this grant runs from June 1st, 2022 to yep. May, May 31st, 2023. So it's a 12 month. Oh, okay, just through May, okay. Thank you for telling us that. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. So um, we won't start, we are getting ready to close down for the summer, Ben. We don't teach classes in the summer. Okay. So um, if okay with you, um, um, we'll start it in the end of August, the very end of August. Yeah, that's fine. I. Uh, um... I think I would still ask you just to submit one of the, a quarterly report in uh, in July, um, on July 10th. And e it can be even a paragraph long, just saying, you know, we, we uh, close down for the summer, we'll, we'll be get, start, get back started in the, in the fall. Um, but uh, just so we have that, uh, you know, explained. So what quarter does that cover? Because I don't, I'm not... Yeah, no, so the, so it's the quarter ending June 30th, um, they ask for a quarterly report by July 15th. But, but the quarter only starts on June 1st, excuse me for being so dense. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. They, it, it's frustrating that none of, none of these dates align with the um, fiscal year or, or qu fiscal quarter. So, yeah, so you would basically I've been having to explain this to the different agencies. Uh, the period from June 1st to July 10th um, would be your first quarterly report. And for most people, that's just going to say, oh, we signed the contract, we had our startup meeting, and maybe we had some expenses. But uh, yeah, it's, it's for, for, most, for most agencies, it'll just be a paragraph or even just a few sentences saying, you know, we have, you know, <laughs> we, we, we signed the contract and we're getting things ready. But, um, and oh. then so for the next one would be from July 1st to, uh, um, I used to have all these dates, Octo October 1st. Okay. Yeah, then we'll have activity. Yeah. Um, it, so can we, we, oh, excuse me, Jamie, go ahead. So for her. Invoice purposes every quarter, for example, then to you by October 10th would be probably our first invoicing. Yeah, you can invoice, um, you know, you can invoice monthly, you can invoice quarterly, um, you know, whatever is easier for you. I, if it, I don't, if it's more frequent than monthly, I think that would, you know, that would no. be, be a lot, but, uh, um, yeah, monthly or, or yeah, quarterly makes sense because then you can submit the invoice along with the quarterly report and it keeps everything nice and neat, which is, which is great. Yeah, we'd, we'd like to do quarterly as long as that's um, okay with you. And if, would, if some cases I submit my invoice separately from what Shield is going to report or would you rather have everything come together? Um. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's fine if it comes separately. Okay. Do you want um, everything via email 
or would you rather have hard copies? Um, let's see. I um, to do so. It depends if you um if you're providing a a lot of uh, backup documentation, which we ask for. You know, we we would like to see um timesheets time uh you know payment for rent yeah. that kind of thing um then yeah it might be easier for you to mail things to us okay um but uh because ultimately i have to print all that anyway so um it's easier just to get it in the mail but um yeah if it's just for other things like the quarterly report that that's fine to do over email Okay, um, I just texted Sheila and not like her to be uh, late. That's it, not normal for her, but okay. um, she has some family things going on. So I don't know, you know, Jamie and I can always take notes if it's something that involves her part because she does do the narrative report. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think, and then for the quarterly reports, it, you know, we, we outline the different sections that we want you to, you know, project, you know, narrative and, you know, updates and, you know, any staffing changes, that kind of thing. So it's, it's formulaic in a way. I, I don't think it's that um, difficult. I guess one, one thing uh, that I think is important to note is that the Along with each quarterly report, we also have you report on the diff on the beneficiaries that have been served, essentially the students you've served. Yes. And um, it's important to note that that's a cumulative number. So, you know, I guess your first quarterly report will probably will be zero beneficiaries, but then the next one will be, you know, those that have been served from beginning of the contract through sep end of September. And then the next one will be, you know, the beginning of the contract through end of December. And so it's not like the clients you served during each of those quarters. It's really the full cumulative cumulative number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and did you forgive me for not knowing this, but did you, did you send us the template for that already? No, I, I, I will when um, I'll send out a reminder to folks about all about the uh, July um, quarterly report and I'll, I'll include that template. Okay, so I have another question. Could we do this report ahead of July 10th since we're not going to have any activity and we're not gonna invoice? Um, could we get it to you this month? Um, yeah, yeah, certainly. I So yeah, usually um, this, this, is, this one is, different because it's uh you know only a month long like quarter but so i usually send out a reminder a month in advance um to the to agencies um so i was gonna do that um either tomorrow or something so i'll get you the template uh, okay everything. yeah oh that's great yeah. appreciate that thank yeah. you just because we we don't want to leave it or i don't want to leave it till the last minute <laughs> exactly yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense we'll be closing um, down and so I guess um, one other thing is how do you guys typically handle um, like your, your intake forms? Um, I think for, for block grant, uh, we want to have um, demonstrated like people's uh, the income levels of the, of the beneficiaries. And so um, different agencies have different ways of doing that. Um, but do you guys have like a standard intake form that you use? We, we do. Um... We have a standard intake form that we use and we have, um, if there haven't been changes, we have received funding from in the past from the Amherst Block Grant, not this past year, yeah. but um, so it's, um, if it hasn't been changed, maybe the levels have changed, I'm not sure, but um, it was synced up well with our intake in the past. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna send out updated income levels. Um, okay. The, the income limits, so those, those were just released by uh, HUD. Yeah. So I can get those out. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, that's good to know. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're keeping those on file, the, the intake forms and, um, 
I, I think we, we've had a little bit of turnover over uh, this, or sorry, the state has had some turnover at the DHCD. There's the, they're the ones that administer the block grant program. Yeah. And so we have, we have an interim program representative now who's good, but we're expecting to get a new program rep in the coming months. And, you know, they might want to, you know, just do things differently or look around and see and make sure agencies are keeping things on file and all that. So we're just, yeah, wanting to where I'm filing away everything <laughs> right now, just to make sure we have it, have it here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but alrighty. And then uh, I guess just a little bit about the um, program itself. Um, are you guys still, have you had, obviously, you know, you filled out this application over a year ago, basically. So I'm just, yes. you know, wanting to check in like staffing is still good. I know you're, you're rely a lot on volunteers as well. So do you anticipate any issues? We have regard? two very strong teachers and enamors to also act as we call them education and career advisors, mm -hmm. because um, as you probably understand our population really needs the one on one support. And um, so we've had them consistently for a number of years, um, Eileen Berry and Amy Pachekis. And then of course we have volunteers from UMass and Amherst College um, that are really terrific in the classroom. And um, so um, that's working well. And um, just uh, a quick story, if you'll yeah. bear with me, that we just had our um, uh, high set is the name of the test we admit we mm -hmm. use for our students it used to be called the GED. Right. So we just had a high set high school equivalency graduation that we held on the campus of Greenfield Community College. But we had one of our alumni from Amherst who was our alumni speaker and he had gone through our program in Amherst past the high set and then had gone on to um, Holyoke Community College. And he was just graduating from Holyoke Community College with honors wow. and moving on to a, a, a bachelor degree. So um, we know it works. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So he's a, he was an Amherst resident, um, not in our program anymore, but, right. you know, had moved through. Well, yeah, so I mean, I think, you know, it's almost like a sign for, of success for you guys is that people don't need your services anymore or like that's right yeah yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> yes yeah. yes when you when you see james and i in the unemployment line that'll be a, a sign of really good success yeah yeah, yeah. maybe in a couple years right. <laughs> <laughs> we always say that just a couple more years right yeah but it it's a good you know amherst of course um amherst is our most diverse uh, program, you know, we have immigrants and refugees as well. Right now, we're compiling an anthology. Um, maybe we could enclose it with our report in the fall um, yeah. of student writing. Oh, good. Um, ben, ben, what I like to do in the fall before I send out my first uh, invoices is to send sort of the template showing the breakdown of salary, fringe, you know, the various expenses, make sure all of our totals agree and everything. So um, hopefully that'll work for you. The first part of September, I'll send that to you and say, yep, this is good to go. And then we'll use that format. For the okay. Room. Yeah, that sounds great. That would be really helpful. Um, good. And save me some time to yeah. make sure it's in the right format. So. Um, and this is um, Sheila Murphy. She's our site director in Amherst. Great. Hi, I, Sheila. I, hi, hi, Ben. I'm so sorry. I'm late. I was got involved in what I was doing. And no, that's <laughs> no, no worries. No worries. Ben, okay. been, go. It's it's good actually. If 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 I get to hear something twice, Ben. It, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. that's fine. I, it's probably probably my fault. I've been bombarding Sheila with tons of of uh, supplies and program material. So. <laughs> That's funny. They're all here. Now I was revising a form and I got totally. Yeah. <laughs> so let me so, ask um, who, 
so who should I have as the kind of point of contact for the grant? Um, or should I just, I can, it's fine if it's Sheila and Judith, that's, I can, I can just kind of CC you guys on both on all things. Is that fine? Yeah. In general, it's just going to be like reminders about quarterly reports and um, if any, you, yeah. Could you put James on it as well? Or is that too much? Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I could email you back with all three of our, yeah. Um, I mean, not to make it difficult, but um, James is really handles all the fiscal. Um, Sheila is all the programmatic and I just basically sit around. Hover, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to sign everything. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. the official signer. So. <laughs> um, no, but um, right. I know Jamie and I do each do those separate pieces and we coordinate, but yeah. um, uh, sometimes I don't know if you have a new reporting, you know, we haven't had a CDBG grant now for a couple mm -hmm. of years from Amherst. So I don't know right. how the reporting has changed. Probably um, not too much um, since your last grant. It's, it's, uh, I was just explaining to um, James and Judith that it's uh, every, at the end of every quarter. So this, mm -hmm. this next quarter ends June 30th. Um, so on, on on July 15th, I need to send a uh, quarterly report to the state. So I ask that agencies get it to me um, about five five or about a week before then. So um, this this quarter is going to be weird because it's like you all have only had uh, what like a month of program and you haven't. I, they were just explaining you guys are, aren't really doing anything until the fall anyway. So. So um, what is what 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 yeah what is the period we need to report on for this year so it's gonna yeah it'll be quarterly so the your contract starts june 1st oh um, it starts june 1st okay. yeah and so the quarter is only a month long and, and it goes through june 30th so then on july 10th you'll just i'll have you submit a quarterly report that literally can just be a sentence or a paragraph long just saying you know we we shut down in the summer we'll have uh we have not expended any money yet we'll have uh students okay. coming in the fall um and then fast forward uh three months from now or for uh or three months from then uh the next quarter would end at the end of september um and so on october 10th around there i'll have you submit a quarterly report and hopefully by then you can say you know we have programs up and running here's you know what we've done so far um and James was just saying he might, you know, you can try to do invoice, align that with it, your first invoices as well. Sheila, um, Ben, I told Ben that we weren't going to have any activity or any expenditures um, this first quarter for June. Right. And would, would it be okay if we just sent in this report saying, you know, we signed the contract, no activity, and it, um, could we even send it in next week? And he said, yes, he's going to email us a template. Okay. Um, I think you said tomorrow, Ben, is that right? Yeah, I can send that out soon. Yep. And also the new um, HUD has new uh, income guidelines. So he'll send those. So, oh, right. I, actually, I looked those up yesterday, but I'd love to see them make sure I got the right ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so I was just also explaining, you know, uh, just um, keep your intake forms on 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 hand as well, or in in a file somewhere, um, and uh, you know, adjust the um, income limits uh, accordingly on on those forms. And yeah. um, the other thing was, yeah, just so for the quarterly reports, the no, the beneficiary served will be another like table you have to figure fill out. Yeah, that, that that'll be a cumulative number. So it's it, uh, it it it's it's not just the number of beneficiaries served each each quarter. It's it builds on, you know, the number served throughout the entire program. Right. And it's um, but it's it's um, new individual served each quarter. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. So right. back to the quarterly schedule. 
so if are we going to have five quarters next year, including this little month long one? Um, well, are we going to, is it going to be July to September, October to December, January to March, and April through June? Um, yeah. March. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it looks like there will be five because the contract ends on May 30th. Oh, okay. so it'll be okay. It's April and May. Yeah. May 30th. Okay. Yeah. So there are five reporting periods. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. That, now I got it. And is that beneficiary serve table? Is that the same one I saw prior? A few years ago, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah you know? Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Our consultant is here. And one of the things we're working on is just the various dates we're working on, you know, and she just, this is going to be the straw with a uh, May 31st deadline. <laughs> so no, we'll be we'll, fine. We'll take turns. We'll, we'll flip a coin to see who tells her. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, the, yeah. It'll, it'll all work out, but it's very timely to have this yeah. information. Well, that's yeah. great for us. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we talked to you today because I wasn't clear on the end date. And um, it's perfect for us because our school year will be wrapping up at that time. So Great, great. Yeah. Um, this, is a new, this is a new year. I haven't seen this one before, June through May. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bizarre. <laughs> I think the state is trying to get on a more normal schedule to have a grant start on July 1st, but they're slowly moving up towards that. Okay. Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, that's that's yeah. crazy. Um, but I have a, a question for you. Just yeah. thinking ahead, this is a little bit off topic, but when will... Um, Amherst is sort of reopened for us to be writing the next grant for the, you know, yeah. not this grant anymore. Yeah, so the state, um, they finally did release their plan, their proposed plan for the coming year. And so there's a few highlights, if you will. Um, the, the deadline will be Mar in March. And so, uh, you know, typically there's almost like a six month, uh, you know, public hearing and proposal and application timeline. So we might be kind of reopening um, applications in around September, we're thinking. Wow. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, we might hold, we might hold another public hearing to hear from the community about priorities and all that in, in August, I think um but then put put out the an rfp in in september okay and so, yeah and so um the other interesting thing is uh they're combining the 22 and 23 grant into like a 24 month um oh grant timeline or implementation timeline um and so you know it'll be uh I, but i think it's still limited and, and so they're they're doubling the amount of funds available, but it's a two-year grant. Hmm. Um, unfortunately, it's still only, I think it's still only five social services. Um, that's part of, they're holding, the state's holding a public hearing to hear from communities about these concerns. And we might ask to, you know, if we can uh, serve more than five or somehow, you know, reallocate that money to more, more agencies if possible. So, um so yeah that that's the uh so you can you know begin thinking about uh your applications you know late, later this summer i guess sounds good yeah um okay it's good to know yeah and uh sorry i have to i have another meeting at 1 30 so i just want to um i'm glad we touch base about the next round because I, I did want to make sure I mentioned that but um did you all have any other questions um do you Sheila well we're going to get a template mm -hmm. yeah 
Um, so I'll take a look at that when I get it and just make sure that I understand everything. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, let me, yeah, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Um, we might do like a, uh, I think Nate had done these before in the pre COVID days, like an actual site visit. Um, and depending where we are with the pandemic uh, in a wave or whatever, we'll, uh, we might um, either do that site visit over Zoom, which would just be kind of like a check in or um, come come and do it in person but that wouldn't be kind of until the program is really up and running maybe in the late fall or something like that so okay well great um well thank you all for your time and yeah yeah just i'll, I'll be in touch with the templates uh for the reporting thank you, ben, and all for that. Your yeah. yeah yeah and the income limits thank okay. you yeah thanks <laughs> great. great okay Take care. Um, All right. Jamie and Sheila, before you sign off, can I um, put us on a quick Zoom ourselves? Not this one, but our own, because just to make sure we're all on the same page with what Ben told us. Sure. sure. Yes. Okay. okay. I'll Thank send you. it out right now. Thanks. Okay. Bye, thanks. Ben. Bye, Thank you. Nice to meet you, Ben. Thank Bye. you.